Greetings from the Outer Banks of North Carolina. It is a beautiful place, but it has an infamous nickname, and for good reason. Ships break apart. You know, they run aground. There are over 600 documented shipwrecks on the, along the Outer Banks of North Carolina. That's just the ones we know about. With, with the currents around here and the sandbars the way they are. This area has well-deserved moniker of the Graveyard of the Atlantic. The, the Oriental was a Civil War ship, yeah. And then the, uh, the Richmond, part of her paddle wheel is still sticking up out of the water. So why here? The northbound Gulf Stream out off, off of North Carolina meets with the southbound Labrador currents. When that cold southbound current meets that warm northbound current, creates a lot of turbulence. So that's one of the reasons for the graveyard of the Atlantic, as well as just the shoals around here. There's a lot of shoaling. And what does that mean for a ship? It's a, it's a glorified sandbar, you know, out in the middle of where you would think you'd be in deep water, you know, miles off the, off the beach. I mean, all of a sudden, the water's three feet deep. Ships break apart, especially in storms, and, you know, cause, cause a lot of shipwrecks. This was a hot spot for, for rescue. It, it's just amazing to think about what these guys did. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of history in here. There's a lot of history in here. So six men lived in this room. My name's Larry Grubbs. We're in Rodanthe, North Carolina at Chickamacomico Life Saving Station. It was the first of 29 life saving stations built on the coast of North Carolina. These stations were every seven miles. So before we had the Coast Guard, we had these? Correct. So this is surf boat number 1046. Chickamacomico Life Saving Station is most famous for the Merlot rescue. The Merlot was a British tanker in World War I that was torpedoed about five miles off the beach. The thing about the Merlot is she was carrying aviation fuel, so the sea was on fire. Um, the crew from Chickamacomico launched this very surf boat, paddled out five miles, and rescued 42 of the 51 British sailors aboard that boat. Yeah, there's a photo of, of this surf boat coming back to the beach with, with uh, some of the survivors on board one of the most decorated maritime rescues in American history. Shipwrecks still happen to this day, absolutely. It remains dangerous. Not that it happens every day, but it certainly does still happen, and it's not uncommon for it to happen. You know, people in, in other parts of the country don't know anything about it at all. The Graveyard of the Atlantic.